The top story at five, a long-term suspension for three middle school students seen playing with toy airsoft guns down the street from a school bus stop. And this story out of Virginia Beach is getting national attention. Today, officials from Larkspur Middle decided to suspend the boys until January. Then on your side's Andy Fox joins us with this follow-up from yesterday. Well, when we started investigating this, they were being suspended for uh, possession, handling, and use of a firearm when they were firing an airsoft gun. Today, they were told they will be suspended for possession, handling, and use of an airsoft gun. We were there when Aiden Clark and his father came out of the Office of Student Leadership on Laskin Road with bad news. I'm more than angry right now. More than angry, the Virginia Beach Public School Board's Discipline Committee ruled against the Clarks and two other families. Monday, Tim and Aiden appeared before the Discipline Committee, which Tim said included three elected school board members, Dottie Holtz, Bobby Malati, and Carolyn Weems. The committee voted unanimously to suspend the three students, but not expel possibly for an entire year as recommended by the school principal. They will be allowed to attend the Renaissance Academy. On January 27th, they will be reconsidered for regular school. If approved, they will be back in school in February, the start of the second semester. I, from the get-go, knew this was a big deal, but I also felt that it was my big deal, not the school's, that it was a, a parental issue, not a school issue. Khalid Caraballo got the same punishment. His mother, Soul Angel. I still argued the fact that he was at home. He didn't leave. They still didn't care. They're, they're saying that they have to protect all the other children in the neighborhood. The families argue the airsoft gun war took place on Caraballo's private property, 70 yards from the school bus stop. Clark says school board member Malati claims that doesn't matter. It still falls under their jurisdiction. Even if it's on private property? It, according to them, yes, uh, I don't agree. Khalid found the meeting aggressive. The way they were coming at my mother was very strong and like almost obnoxious. But in the end, Clark says this was the message from the discipline committee. So what we're saying is that zero tolerance does extend in the eyes of the school system to private property. By what we witnessed last night by the school board, uh, that's their that's their opinion. Not mine. School board member Mr. Malati told me he had no comment. Board members Holtz and Weems did not return my calls. Earlier today, the beach school system posted Wavy chose not to air a 911 call, claiming kids were running down the street waving and shooting the guns, despite being made aware of its existence by police. That is simply not true. We didn't run the 911 call in our report last night because we honestly did not know that it existed. It may have been there, but we did not know that it existed. Tonight at 6, we will run it, and it will further prove Khalid Karabalu never left his property with the airsoft gun. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.